I just want to say a, a few words. I've been a service user with Gamage for five years, and it's perfectly obvious that these people in here do not even understand the services that they're supposed to provide. They've cut 40% from the budget. It's over £800,000 of a £2 million budget. How do they expect to run a service when they're making cuts all of that scale? There's going to be at least 30 to 40 redundancies. There's going to be uh, groups are going to be closed down. Cases are going to be closed in the long run. Do we know where all these cuts emanate from? They emanate from Westminster. They emanate from the Tory government. But it's absolutely disgraceful that these creatures in here, inside that Labour Council, can feel the need to be apologists for austerity. Here, here. Austerity. It's, al it's always austerity for us, and it's never austerity for them. The Tories are now saying that if you've got an obesity problem, we're going to cut your benefits. If you're a young person, we're going to cut your housing benefit. And this, the fact of the matter is that these councillors in here are actually politically bankrupt. They actually go along with these arguments. They're actually willing to pass on cuts to us. Now the thing is, the good news is that there are a whole series of, general, of elections coming up in this country. The first one is the general election on May the 7th. And we have to say to these councillors in here that we're going to start to elect candidates that are going to oppose austerity. In this city, we have three candidates from the Trade Union and Socialist Coalition and I urge you all to vote for them. Let's make a stand and let's tell these people your time's up. Thanks, Tom. Our next speaker is Linda Hammer from Platform.